All right, folks, uh, welcome really fast to a um, kind of a shame, I guess. That's probably where I want to start because earlier tonight, I was actually leaving work. I'm going home and I came across a person that decided to um, leave on my page. Uh, you know, one of those hater rate raid, uh, unflattering type comments, right? Okay, and uh, most of the comments are, are actually gone from this page now, okay? Um, let's see here, oh, that's funny. One of my friends, shout out, uh, came to the rescue <laughs> asking, who are you, why are you leaving comments like that, and you know, and actually the person did not respond. I want to kind of go down here and show you guys these comments. Just an idea of what I'm talking about here and why I was on that page. Um, young, it's probably a fake profile. That's where I'm leading off here. I just want to kind of educate you guys about fake profiles and why marketers are using fake profiles. I'm going to go ahead and break that down guys here in just a moment but first I want to make fun of the person for a little while and I'm sorry you know <laughs> you know part of what we do you guys is deal with people and <clears throat> sometimes it can be stressful uh, to deal with people um, and yet we got to find ways to have fun with this stuff and that's exactly what I'm about to uh, give you an example of right now so here it is Christy Young actually left this on my page uh, spammy approach says the Facebook spammer as a response to this post that you can see here on my page uh, from just 10 hours ago today apparently I must have touched a nerve with this spammer <laughs> because as you can see this spammer got very upset <laughs> and left a comment on my page about how I'm a spammer <laughs> right uh, in response to what I said here that if you're in an MLM business and you cannot get signups don't blame other people it's you not them it's your lack of skill it's your spammy approach it's the fact that you never talk to people till you want something it's your inconsistency it's your unwillingness to read those books, watch those videos, and listen to those audios. It's you, not them. Soon as you understand that, you are ready. Okay? Now, you guys, what you just saw happen live here, I'm glad I started doing this. When I started doing it, this person just blocked me, as you can see, um, because they probably knew that this was coming. So, as you can see, they just went blank. You know what I'm saying? Um, just went went blank and I'm just gonna make this video and use it as a training for everybody else out there I want you guys to understand that fake profiles exist here's a fake profile and here's what gives it away this is Christy Young's photos and as you can see one photo now I was actually on their page a lot earlier and um, I, I, I happen to be going through their entire list um, of, of posts and they've only made like four or five posts during 2013 they made no post on their Facebook in 2012 and they were kind of active in 2011 when this photo was taken along with a post about how uh, they just you know purchased their first silver so apparently this person this spammer person is most likely in some type of coin business I don't know which one and I don't want to flame the coin business because most likely the coin business didn't teach this person to use this approach but let me tell you why people use this approach okay this is a lady who look some people might consider her attractive she's got a de decent smile seems friendly and they want to push a business because they think that people are so dumb that you're gonna buy from them just because you like how this person looks and you know there are studies out there where people do make those types of choices um, but I don't think that that's the vast majority I think most people are smart enough to realize that you gotta have more than just um, a nice smile on your profile you you need to be real let's be be honest you guys how many women do we know on Facebook that have only one photo of themselves only one right 
Um, okay, again, so anyway, this person is clearly a fake profile, and it's a good thing I had their profile up before they just blocked me. Uh, be, because once again, you would not be able to see this. You know, okay, so July 19th, okay, was their post, but they didn't post anything else until July 7th. And here they're talking about a uh, gun enthusiast. So this person might actually be kind of on the uh, crazy side. <laughs> all right. Um, and, and no post for all of June, but early in May they had something to say. Okay, you're talking about the K Kentucky Derby. Uh, you know, again, no activity going on, right? Um, but apparently they're they're into guns and you know so this is somebody who you know again has nothing else going on um, but these folks are on Facebook unfortunately and sometimes you know again when you're in this type of business you come across people who aren't all the way there and uh, you know it's unfortunate that uh, people have nothing else going on but that so here you guys can kind of see again uh, they just sort of drop a hey what's going on everybody I'm in such a great mood you know, clearly a fake profile, though, you guys. So, okay, if you're dealing with this person, because apparently um, they've got about 200 or so friends, you might want to unfriend this person. If you happen to be using Facebook and you find Christy Young in your Facebook, you may want to disconnect. This person is clearly a little on the, on the crazy side. So here we go, finally down to 2011, where they were talking about silver. Send me silver. I need more silver. Um, here it is, Boolean Forever. So I guess these are their websites where they can go for the silver. I don't recommend going there personally, unless you just want to go, go there and laugh. This person's feeble attempts to market their business. And this is how they chose to go about doing it with a fake profile. Okay, and as you guys can see, 2009, nothing going on. That's, that's when they set their profile up, um, and they have nothing else going on, right? <laughs> as you guys can see here on the right, where it says the activities, where 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 we are here, early 2010s it looks like, or is that 2011? Oh yeah, no, that's uh, 2011 there, yeah. It is so you know again just bought some more silver eagle so you know again fakes and wouldn't shock me since this person here is talking about silver dimes wouldn't shock me if they're tied in okay wouldn't shock me could be another fake profile and so you know again this is part of what happens with internet marketing today okay most likely again this person is connected because they're the only other person on the profile talking about silver, right? Kind of a giveaway. Um, but again, if you're not actually uh, trained in, in networking and understanding that this is the people business and our job is to get to know people. And so sometimes we just have to un 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 understand that there are people out there that um, really are looking for someone else to blame when things aren't working out for them, okay? You know, you know, again, most likely this person was using a spammer profile to market. Somehow I got added. And, uh, you know, they read what I said today and they got upset. You know, seems like what I said just really touched a nerve. And they wanted to take it out on somebody. It was not their fault. You know, it's 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 got to be someone else's fault. And, in fact, Al King, you're a spammer. You're the spammer. You're using the spammy approach. Uh, they they deleted some of their other uh, comments, but I just want to kind of re, re, recap them for you because I thought they were so silly. One of their comments is that, and you know, you can tell that this person did re really bad in MLM because they've turned entirely on it. They they made comments such as that I'm a spammer and a scammer for asking my friends. Uh, to join me and make money with me that if I had any real resources any real resources I wouldn't be asking my friends to help me make money now we're, we're on the Facebook platform so I'm gonna use the Facebook movie as an example real quick to make fun of this person's um, silly logic what they're saying is that 
what people that make money don't do it with their 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 friends i mean again i can distinctly remember watching the facebook movie and seeing mark zuckerberg create facebook with his friends and together he and his friends have made a lot of money you know I, you know you know i think people who really go there and have de decided that if you're asking your friends to make money with you that you're in some type of scam you know those are really stupid people and yeah i just said that because what other word can you use for those kinds of people they're they're not very intelligent no intelligent person is going to fix their mouth to say that because you know again i've studied successful people i know about bill gates i'm pretty sure if you guys have read his history you understand that a lot of the people that he made his money with that he created his company with were his friends he and his friends were hanging out in the garage tinkering with technology Steve Jobs and his friend Woj <laughs> right shout outs together they created something phenomenal and made a lot of money friends make money together all the time you guys do, do, do you really think that Jay-Z and Kanye West again I know that they have a working relationship Kanye makes beats and whatnot but but do you really think that that close working re, re relationship doesn't have some type of friendship involved? Right? Making money with your friends is really where it's at. So again, anybody that, that, that has that kind of thinking, they're not very intelligent. Um, and just, just know that going in. Again, this is the MLM game and this type of stuff happens. I think it's funny, personally. And, uh, you know, it's it's funny because just a month ago, I had another person uh, doing something similar. They were, uh, let's see here. I'm going to lose that right now. Let's go back to Facebook. I want to do one more and see if I can show you guys this picture. It's kind of funny to me. And I don't mean the picture that just popped up. I'm talking about this picture here. I'm going to give some props and some thank yous to some of these folks here kind of funny all right appreciate that but yeah some random person hits me up it says uh you run around promoting all this bs you're involved in and can't even show proof you're making money it's because you're making no money what a fraud steph whoever that whoever that person is again yeah. no idea one of the things about the internet is is people get incredibly great uh brave uh, behind the microphone and behind the computer screen <laughs> so here I am I'm just sort of letting this person know look I have proof I mean you know we can do a Google hangout right day goes by no response that's what I thought several more months go by or, or days go go by weeks I should should say and here, here they are again saying, send me a screenshot. We are making $100 a month. You can't do it. And honestly, again, I, you know, even though I do agree with uh, these awesome top networkers over here, Tiffany and Kevin, appreciate you both. Shout outs. By the way, if any of you do know these awesome leaders, I have had the chance to um, talk often with Mr. Freeman. That's a dynamic brother. Please get with him. Take him seriously if you're out there networking with him right now. And Tiffany Stone Cipher, I've been enjoying a lot of what she shares on Facebook. Tons of tr tr tremendous value. I, I always love the positive um, things that she's sharing and look forward to getting to know her even more. Again, there are some real networkers out there, and that's one of the, the plus sides of this business. You really will meet some incredible people. And you'll come across people like this who have nothing to do. And they're calling folks scam artists and, you know. Here, here it is, though. When when you, you know, tell them, well, well, look, you know, I'll show you a little something, but I'd rather put you on where I can see you and everybody else can see you. And we, we, we can cut all of this out. They typically uh, don't answer. Or as you can see in the other case with the person uh, on the fake profile, the Christy Young person, they go ahead and block me. You know, they go ahead and block themselves. And in fact, I'll show you guys that proof right now. I'll reload this page and you'll probably see it go to the thumb up. 
Oh, okay. Awesome. So this person hasn't blocked me. I guess I'll go ahead and remove them as a friend so they can't uh, cyber stalk me. See, I had one mutual friend with this person. Who's my, my mutual friend? I might have to check out who, 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 the, who this person is here. Brian A. Smith. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'll give you a ring there, Mr. Smith. And we'll chat with you about our mutual friend here. See what's going on with that. But yeah, let, let, let me go back to uh, this person's profile here and immediately remove myself whoever they are alrighty awesome okay and with with that you guys I think that's enough you know again I recommend you uh, if you're one of the 271 people that have this person as a friend you may want to go ahead and remove them uh, because again not sure that's even a real profile there you guys okay I'm pretty sure it's not I do apologize to the other person who was posting about silver in case you're not involved and of course uh, I'm gonna chat with my friend Brian there to see if he knows about this fraud close that person down there and with that you guys I want to thank you for watching I hope this has been in, in, informative uh, if you're on Facebook, keep a lookout for the fake profiles. Always get to know people. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to actually take time to find out who people are. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to get all the way into their, their details, but at least make sure they're, that they're real. You know, prior to uh, seeking to do business, it's always good to make sure that you're talking to a real person. And so with that being, being said, you guys, Top Networkers Group, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. We'll see you guys at the very top.